So, um, so my presentation is over, and right now, you know, I'm going to control my Android by myself, and uh, then we can have a chat. Well, I remember the first visit in the laboratory uh, at ATR. It's about, it's more than a year ago, it was in, in January of last year. And at the same place where we're visiting the kids playing with rope. Um, and I had, uh, trying to win time here, it was raining, actually. No. Um, and, and I had the first, I didn't meet uh, Professor Shiguro, but I met um, Jemino. And I was sitting next to the table um, with Geminoid, uh, and one of his you know, research assistants uh, was controlling the robot. And after a while, uh, took maybe up to three minutes talk or something, um, I had the question, a uh, question came up in my mind, what material is the skin out of? And I tried to, you know, first reaction would be if it would be a like normal machine, just you know to touch it and to uh, find out what material it is. Well, I just couldn't because um, there was a person sitting next to me in a sense, and I could feel uh, this moment, this special moment of um, uh, this point, what he was describing it right now uh, of research that is going towards this uh, idea um, of finding out where a machine starts to be. Accepted as a man or uh, as, a, as a human being, and when it just doesn't break. Hi, oh. good morning. Um, you've been you've been speaking about. Um, acting in public space, in public environment, at the Kubus restaurant uh, in the cafe upstairs. Were there any um, possibilities for you to do such a presentation in public space before this one? I mean, before no. Kubus? Actually, this, that was the first time for me. And the worrying side of that, uh, you have shortly uh, expressed that you yourself from, from Japan have contact with, yeah. the, with links. Did you have any you know, learning out of the you know, unprepared uh, public meeting Gemini? Um, well... I mean, in, in terms of... Um, there must be a difference like in the university, um, um, in the laboratory. People kind of know what, what, what's now waiting for them, in a sense. At least uh, in, in, in my case it was the... But uh, yeah. uh, in, in like meeting a genuine in, in a cafeteria is something totally different. So how do people react? Well, you know, um, um, I met uh, many people, but uh, half of them couldn't become aware of my existence and you know, just uh, ignore me. But uh, if uh, when they, they found the uh, I'm not uh, you know human. You know, they start to talk, they come to talk, and uh, we got to uh, uh, chat each other. But uh, when we had a uh, chat, right, um, they you know, adapt to the, uh, this, this conversation quickly, and, uh, you know, we, we could talk about many things. So, and actually, you know, well, this kind of thing happens in a uh, laboratory also, right? And usually, you know, I'm sitting in the, a room the, in ADR and everybody say hello to me. You know, when you know, they didn't know the uh, I built uh, Android. But uh, when, of course after that, you know, well, they found the, uh, this is the robot and then, you know, I, I could have a very natural um, the chatting with people. And but I will say, you know, the the people's reaction was quite similar. Well, between the uh, laboratories and the uh, open space. But, uh, you know, but I don't want to see the, uh, how the audience people accept this kind of a technology. And um, Heiss, Heiss actually um, 
hard, a little bit hard for me and probably uh, also for the audience here to understand what what your work is, not the theory. We uh, got the uh, explanation right here, but in practical terms, how, how is that research um, uh, being done? Is that you know, video recordings uh, and, and then statistically evaluation of this, or how is the, the, the research work, the practical daily research work happening? Right. Um. Actually, you know, we have to do the many things first, so, you know, we have to develop uh, this complicated mechanism. And then, you know, the when we develop the, uh, this robot, we have to evaluate the uh, people's reactions. You know, there are several ways to evaluate the people's reaction. Um, the first, uh, um, the uh, important thing is uh, uh, to check the people's reactions under the con well-controlled environment. In the, in the research laboratory, but on the other hand, it's important to check the, you know, people's reaction in the open space, right? And I wanted to know the, how people accept that this kind of technologies. But uh, you know, that is not so clear uh, the discussion, right? So the more important thing is to get some uh, new inspiration, right? And of course, we are recording the people behaviors and uh, we are getting uh, some uh, statistics and we are going to write a paper on that. However, you know, still I would say, you know, the most important thing is, is to observe the people's behavior the, by ourselves and uh, get the new inspiration and improve this robot more. Well, we will start as a uh, time here. Um, you shortly explained to me that uh, in your biography, so to say, there was also a history uh, moment. Uh, you are interested in artistic expression, you are interested in art. Um, did you ever think of or did you ever uh, try to work with Gemini in an artistic project? Maybe something like a theater piece or something? Yeah, well, actually, you know, this is the uh, first challenge for me to work with the artist. And uh, well, that is why I'm, I'm here. You know, this is the first uh, the uh, demonstration um, in the foreign countries and the outside of uh, HR research uh, institute. Right? And uh, well, I think uh, you know artistic work is uh, quite important. You know, the artistic work give me uh, many inspirations. You know, when I was uh, young, you know. I wanted to be an oil painter, and, and, but unfortunately I gave up to be an oil painter. But still, you know, I think uh, I'm thinking the same things, things right? And the important things for the oil painter is to represent itself on a campus. Right? I'm representing myself with the robot technology, and the purpose is identical. Right? So I'm. Uh, uh, now I am a member, you know, some of uh, um, my old mind when I try to be a you know, artist or oil painter. Uh, and uh, you know, I hope uh, I get more ideas from uh, Arthur Electronica and in this exhibition and the demonstration. Um. You're writing about um, your work also as separating for the first time, separating uh, mind from body and sending so to say, your mind over the uh, distance um, to another second body as you do at the moment. Um, I can imagine that you do this um, very often, very long, you're used to, so to say, used to have a second body. From time to time, honestly, do you miss your second body if you can have access? Well, I'm not sure about that. But uh, what I would say is, uh, you know, the human they can adapt. How the human can adapt to this um, second body? The basically, you know, our brain is not tied to be connected to the uh, the muscles and the sensations. Right? When we are walking, we don't care about the how muscle moves and uh, how what kind of a sensation we are getting. We just feel you know, our body is moving properly, right? You know, therefore, you know, that once we believe, you know, I controlling this body, 